Today the Church celebrates the liturgical feast of San Isidoro de Sevilla, Archbishop of Sevilla, and a very important figure in the Middle Age. He is considered the last of the fathers of the Church, ending that glorious tradition that began almost almost after the death of the Apostles. Well, this man, who was also decisive for the conversion of the Visigoths in Spain from Arianism to Catholicism, this man seems as if he was a contemporary of ours. When we encounter difficulties, difficulties, for example, to define divine the divine of Jesus Christ, the the right doctrine, we can think that our problems today are new, that they are the greatest that have ever existed. Actually, our problems have characteristics that make them different from those of previous generations. However, they are neither new nor are they greater. Their struggle, the Saint Athanasius, Patriarch of Alexandria, carried out, for example, to defend that Christ was God, when the majority of the bishops of the world had become Arianism, that is to say, they denied the divinity of Christ when the emperor himself was an Arian, when even the Pope of Rome hesitated, and Mary, Saint Inarius of Lyon, had defended the divine of Christ, of course, but very few at that time were defending Christ's divinity. When we see that in the history of the Church, we can say, ours is nothing. Well, San Isidoro had something similar applied to the Visigoths in Spain. The Visigoths had already been settled in Spain for two centuries. The Roman Empire had long since ended. The Visigoths had not wanted it to mix with the original Hispanic Roman population, which for the most part was still Catholic, but they were Arians, and they were the ones who ruled. And they ruled and exercised, in addition, the Visigoth regime had some cruel characteristics that led it to ruins, which has been called the disease of the gods. The monarchy was not hereditary, therefore, Every time there was a king, a king was appointed. The, there were the supporters who often ended up with the new appointed. In a very cruel way, they were not educated people. They were people, in many ways, brutal. In other things, they were not. After all, they had been an ancient Roman Hispania for two centuries. They were Arians. They promoted Arianism, however, Catholics of Rome origin, of Hispanic Roman origin, did not give up. They fought to keep their faith, and it caused them work, and it caused them persecution. They trained with what could come later with the Visigoths due to the Gothic diocese, which was to kill each of the monarchs. They fell at the hands of the Muslims, and the Spains quickly became Muslims, except for those, the Muslims who resigned his last semester. I speak of these history lessons because we are celebrating a saint, San Isidoro de Sevilla, fundamental in the conversion of the Arianism to Catholicism. But because it is our problem today as well, Christ is God. He is true man. He is true God. Apparently, no one denies within the Church. I say only apparently because it is not true. Every time they say that the teachings of Christ are outdated, they are denying Christ's divinity. It must be frankly, because it is so. They are going back to Arianism. Every time they said that Jesus Christ did not know, had no idea of what today the science are teaching us with their modern advance, that therefore we must change the moral teaching that St. Paul was ignorant and that his letter teach any of them are old-fashioned things, which due to precisely to his ignorance, well, they are ridiculing not only St. Paul, 
but at the inspiration of the secret scripture, and naturally, Jesus Christ himself, on whom all the teaching of the apostles is based on. Basically, I repeat, they are denying Christ's divinity. Those who precede us, fat, paid with their blood, Saint Athanasius was vanished from his see to the empire of several occasions. He had to know the threat and banishment from Saint Athanasius. It is a phrase. They have the churches because the Arianism disappointed Catholics and all the temples. They have the church. We have the faith. So let us defend Christ's divinity. Christ is God. And if Christ is God, as Christ himself said, Heaven and earth shall pass away. My words shall not pass away. Arianism has never been defeated. It has fit into the head of any of them. The Almighty became men. It is a problem of theirs. And it is a problem of faith. We proclaim with our fathers, Christ is God. The Blessed Virgin is the Mother of God. And if we shall be persecuted, we have a great predecessor who have known that the worse than what is happening to us. Christ is God. His words cannot be touched. His teachings are good teachings, and they do not be adapted to fashion and to times. May San Isidoro pray for us, Soviet.